Mrs. Leong, what's wrong? Uh, I'm going home. Uh, I have to go home. My daughter is waiting. Oh, you mean your daughter Kim? How old is she now? She's a just little one, a baby. That's why she needs me. Oh, that's okay. Kim is safe. I'm sure of that. There's no need to worry. Uh, how, how do you know? Have you seen her? Yeah, I saw her last week. An important skill to learn when caring for persons with dementia is how to distract them away from unsafe behaviors, such as trying to leave the facility, and how to redirect their focus on another activity. Knowledge of their family and personal history can often be of help when trying to do this. Use probing questions, both to distract the person from what they are attempting to do, and also to try and learn the root cause of the anxiety. Avoid grabbing them or their walker, as this may trigger an aggressive reaction. How about if we phone your daughter Kim and find out how she's doing? You mean call her now? Yeah, but let's call her from your room. It'll be quieter in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, and you have that lovely family photo album. We could look through that. Always keep validating the person's concerns and feelings while redirecting the conversation and their focus. Keep comments short and simple. Provide the person with choices and tell them what they can do. Oh. And in this picture, which one's Kim? Here, here. She's in the oh, middle. Yes, she's beautiful. Wow, and that's her there too. Yes. For a person attempting to go home, never simply say, this is your home, as this in no way validates the person's concern. And if a resident does leave the building, simply follow them outside and use the same techniques of distraction and redirection. <laughs> 